everyone and welcome back to the channel that knows nothing. I'm Jim and let's get to it. Today we are diving on into the bookish witch tag. So let's go. It's almost perfect, right? I've lined this up amazingly. Question number one is hop on your broomstick and pick your favourite witchy setting and I've gone with I don't know why I dramatically paused there, but the witch boy. It's cute, it's my favourite kind of genre, graphic novel, interesting premise, boy not allowed to be a witch but does it anyway. We love it, we love it, we love to see it, it's pretty, there's not anything not to like. Number two in this tag is whip out your wand and choose your favourite magic system and I've got to go with the Tea Dragon Society mainly because it's cute and because it's so unlike other sort of witchy vibes like I just feel like it's like they're dragon and you can kind of scrape some stuff off them and make tea it's just random and also wholesome and kind of fun like I don't know I don't know how to explain it. I feel like I explained it weird. It's not weird. It's cute, I promise. Number three in this tag is gather up some magic herbs and choose your favourite tropes from witch stories. And I've got to go with the trope from Malice. I feel like it is that classic, you know, hard girl exterior, but inside she's actually a soft girl who just wants to be loved and accepted. I feel like it's used time and time again in these sorts of stories. Exhibit A, Malice's Exhibit B, but I really loved that story, I loved that retelling, I feel like it was such a different sort of way to go about uh, the retelling of Sleeping Beauty because that is what it's based upon. Uh, there is a sequel which I have not read yet because I am concerned it's going to end badly and I don't want it to end badly so I'm like if I don't read it there is no bad ending there is only the one bad ending I can't do two if my girls don't end up together I will be disappointed number four in this tag is open up your grimoire and pick a book that will help you with your casting and I've gone with ink mistress for this one because it is so different to any other books about witches and wizards that involves casting because it's like she writes it down and I feel like writing it can either go like in the book it goes terribly wrong so I feel like it would be a very interesting way to do it there would be some spice on your life you know you might do it wrong and it could end badly or it could end terrifically you never know I feel like it's too it's too much of a trope to pick just a basic bitch you know spell book and wand we don't do those things on this channel. We're weird and different. Number five in this tag is stir that bubbling cauldron and choose a witchy brew or snack. And I feel like I was never going to get through this entire tag without mentioning a certain wizard. So we have definitely got to go with Butterbeer from Harry Potter. Also, I have tried Butterbeer. I'm not sure if that's how it would actually taste. I'm a little bit disappointed. I've only tried the one at the Wizarding World Universal Studios, but I don't know if that's how it would taste. I'm convinced otherwise. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'd be very interested to know. I have attempted making it as well and it tastes very similar to what I tasted and I'm not, I don't, I don't think so, no. I'm just not convinced. The next day. Like in my mind, butterbeer is meant to taste creamy and that tasted fizzy. And I just look at the ones they had in the movies and look at the ones that I had and I just, they don't align. They don't do it. Number six in this tag, which is the last question in this tag, is summon your familiar or show us a picture of your favorite fictional animal. And I will get mine. Summoning the Astrid. And my familiar has been summoned. This is Astrid, my little baby. We're camera shy. Hello. Hello. Oh dear. Oh dear. Are we crying? Oh dear. 
You're making me look like a terrible owner on camera. I love you. I give you all the treats. I give you everything, my heart and soul. And she's like, ugh, disgusting. Get away with me with that love that you have for me. <laughs> I feel like that's most cats. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you today. Please like, subscribe, because it is always nice. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.